Okay, so you guys know the story about Goldilocks? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, you got the, the little girl breaks into the little bear's homes. They, they went on a walk and she tries this chair, it's too small. She tries this chair, it's too big. And then this one's just right. Mm -hmm. So this Goldilocks drill is all about speed and distance. And um, in my classes, I talk about Goldilocks a lot because there's a lot of things that come into play where say Jonathan at seven yards, we're all in the seven yard line and Jonathan can come out of the holster and shoot two rounds wicked fast and he's still in. There I can hear his rounds and there's like this pressure. There's like this, this pressure that I feel obligated to shoot as fast as he's shooting, but I'm missing. So I might as well go grab my ammunition and throw it in the trash and call it a day because I'm wasting reps on all of that, right? So fight your own fight and find your Goldilocks. Find the chair that fits you just right. Find how fast you can go at what distance and which and what that is for you, okay? Because we're all different here, all right? So there's three strings to this drill. The first string, you're gonna shoot two rounds, no time frame, okay? You can come out of the holster, get a nice presentation, relax, breathe. This is gonna be full shooting, okay? Not gunfighting. I want you to put one round right on top of the other, as close as you can, okay? And then I'll have you holster, and I'll give you the gun command. You're gonna present, and I want you to shoot two rounds at a nice cadence at the distance that you're at while your rounds are still staying in. So the main goal here is this is an accuracy drill. You want your rounds to stay in. Third string from the holster, I'll give you a command. You'll come out, and you're gonna shoot two rounds as fast as you can go while staying in at that distance. And then we'll back up, and we'll do those three strings again, okay? So I'll demo this, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, first we're gonna start super close. I'm gonna aim like down a little bit just because I got that grouping right there. So let's see what I got going on here with this gun. Okay, so just two rounds, take your time. All right, not bad, right? Not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, so the second one, just a nice cadence. Right, whatever that cadence is, two rounds, just a boom, boom, or a boom, boom, whatever that cadence is from this distance, okay? So I'll give you the gun command. Good, still in, excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna go as fast, I'm gonna shoot as fast as I can while still staying in, okay? So, same thing, I'll get you that gun command. Oh, almost. So, what I did there. This shot right here, I'm guessing it had to have been that shot. Yeah, it was first. My grip, I came around and I like shoved the gun. Have you guys ever done that? Yeah. Dude, totally did that. Still in though, still in. So what I'm taking away from that is, I got away with this, but I should probably just bleed off a little bit at that, at that two yard line, right? Good, so then we would go back. We'll just take a couple of big steps back. I don't know, whatever that line is. And then uh, we'll do the same thing. Keep in mind, Static ranges have a 3, 5, 7, 10, 15, 20, and 25 yard line, right? What's the reason behind it? Well, we know that the 25, the 50, and the 100, you know, we use that to zero rifles, okay? But everything else is for qualifications, right? From the seven yard line on the buzzer, the turn of your target, you're gonna present, shoot two rounds, speed reload, whatever, right? Those are for quals. We are not training to qual. We are training to have that first significant round, right? So keep in mind that the Walmart parking lot doesn't have a 15 yard line, okay? So you need to have that good judge that space and that distance and know what speed you can shoot at and make those rounds significant. Yeah, money, not bad, right? Good, second string, go ahead and holster. I'll give you the command of gun. You're gonna present. I want you to shoot two rounds at a nice cadence. So think of a cadence in your head right now that you know you can shoot at. It's gonna be fast because we're, we're close, but not your fastest that you can go, all right? Stand by. Don't game it, Cody. Stand by. Done. Fabulous. Good, go ahead and reholster. Take a look at your shots. If they're super close, now you've got some confidence that you're going to be able to shoot these next two rounds way faster, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to present on my command of gun and shoot two rounds as fast as you can go while staying in that A zone, all right? Stand by. Go, go, go!
Barely. when you're satisfied. Dredge, you pulled the Brittany. So don't be afraid to like blaze that line or even go out here and so there because I then in my comfort zone you did, okay. you did. So don't be afraid to go outside of that comfort zone okay. because then you can go, okay, that was too much. Now I got to okay. bring it back in, you know? Easy Excellent. Day. So just try to find a round, you know, so, something in the center for you to like put these next two keyholes through. That stance, trigger, pre uh, trigger manipulation. All right, great. When you're done, reholster. Sweet. Reholster. All right, last two. As fast as you can go, staying in the box. Stand by. Good, good. All right, good shit. Reholster when you're satisfied. Everyone stayed in. Excellent. Okay, cadence, it's gonna be a lot slower from here. Stand by, gun. Cody, reholster, or uh, reload, excellent. All right, now as fast as you can go from this uh, this distance. Yep, I should have pushed that first one. Oh, you did, I did, I pushed the no, shot. I'm barely outside. Stand by, gun. Oh, 